I am Paul, co-founder of Summer, and welcome to the Summer Tour. Come in. So this is our immersion cooling technology. Basically, this is the Smart Pot X. It's, uh, I would say, almost the fifth or sixth version of it, apart from the initial versions that we started um, producing in 2018 and, and commercializing in 2018. And this is an immersion cooling technology. So as you can see here, we have uh, IT hardware, IT servers working inside, inside the fluid. In this case, it's our own synthetic fluid. It's a non-conductive, no -elect non-electrically conductive fluid. That it's basically uh, biodegradable, uh, non-toxic, and of course, totally kind to the components that you have in the uh, present in servers and electronics. So you can submerge directly inside the fluid any kind of compute. With this, uh, we've been able to basically efficiently move this fluid around the, the tank thanks to what we call the cooling distribution unit that I will explain to you now. But basically we monitor the fluid with digital sensors, temperature, flow rates, level sensors and move the fluid around so that we capture the heat in the most efficient way. With this, we are able to basically save more than 95% of the cooling costs for the data center, so making a much more efficient operational uh, costs and expenses for the data center, and then uh, we can increase densities by tenfold. We can actually place much more powerful compute and much more powerful servers inside the same space that you would have, for instance, in 10 or 20 racks. So here we can fit 50 kilowatts or even 100 kilowatts or more, depending on the outside temperatures of IT hardware. And uh, of course, in terms of the capex for the infrastructure, we don't need any raised flooring, we don't need any cold aisles, cold ceilings. So it's just a box and you place it wherever you want. And whenever you need to scale, you just scale with more boxes. So it's perfect for an edge computing um, a small site to a massive hyperscaler data center. And it grows uh, as you want. Uh, interesting, part, uh, interesting parts of this system compared to the previous um, uh, models that we created is that we've been able to also optimize the AC to DC power conversion. So we have uh, distribution of DC power at the bottom of the tanks if you want. So it can have a pass bar configuration depending on the type of uh, servers and, and the power shells or power uh, supply units that you have. We can power directly in DC. Uh, the, the actual hardware. So when you think about the data center, usually you have the generation uh, in AC power, the transportation of the electricity, the conversion to the UPS, uh, to the power supply, and from the power supply to the um, motherboard, and like five conversions of electricity losing around 20% of the efficiency or 20% of the energy just in these conversions, and here you can operate always in DC if you want. It's also compatible with any standard, totally flexible and agnostic to the IT hardware inside and technology, so that you can place either open compute hardware, 21 inches, or uh, 19 inches in the same time, and, and have a an hybrid environment even. And then uh, also regarding the infrastructure itself is agnostic, so it's like a dishwasher. You can place it anywhere, and you don't need to basically invest in a, in a massive infrastructure of cooling generators, of uh, raised flooring, as I mentioned before, uh, the cold aisles, it's just this box, and then you connect it to a closed water circuit. It doesn't waste any water. So it's a very clean and environmentally friendly uh, solution, and you can even empower the uh, secondary, I would say, secondary loop to, to be able to generate this somehow circular economy and reduce the heat in the form of um, industrial processes or, or heating a building so that you can basically uh, take advantage of this heat always working in a liquid form. And this is the, the cooling distribution unit. This is where the magic happens in the mechanical side of the technology. Uh, just to remember, this technology uh, consists of a hardware, so mechanical part, chemical part, and then a software uh, layer that monitors and orchestrates everything. And this is the mechanical part that basically is able to monitor the fluid and move it efficiently. And compared to the previous versions where we had a cooling distribution unit that was somehow at the front of the unit and it was um, it was very nice because you could see how the machine operates uh, very easily and you had the, the cable management at the top, etc. It works very well and we still deploy it uh, and it's very practical. But also we have this model where we have the CDU modular like a server unit. So you now the same system administrator can operate uh, the cooling like if it were a server component. So you just can swap the cooling component as if it were an IT um, 
uh, server. So you have redundancy here, you have uh, electronics and, and sensors to monitor everything, and you have quick connects to connect to this secondary closed water circuit. And the thing, thanks to this modularity of the system, you can have total resiliency, so you can swap it and even hot swap it while in operation, and you have reaction of doing so because you have the uh, thermal inertia of the, of the tank. And then you can have multiple CDUs per time because maybe you want double the densities and you can have double density by deploying another CDU per time or you can have a tier 4 um, redundancy with double CDU. So it's totally modular and flexible and we can have the 22U and uh, also with a different uh, size for uh, regular use or open use. So we have different types of, of uh, markings here depending if it is open compute or not and then double the size tank, which is uh, 43 uh, use, 41 open use. And this is the, the smart protect, so very practical, very modular, and, and very flexible to be deployed anywhere. And happy to, to show you uh, how it works.